Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Knight Game here, and in this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can set multiple images to your desktop wallpaper. Now, if you're on this video, you're probably wondering how I got this background over here with loads of pictures about of superheroes and all. So, um, now in this bit, just stick around for this video, and I will show you how you can do that. Okay, so what we'll need is PowerPoint. That's all you'll need. Okay. So anyway, let's get started then, shall we? So then. So basically Mac, Mac, it doesn't completely allow you to um, set multiple images to your background, but there is a way around this, so I'm going to show you right now. So say I want to create a superhero, multiple superhero images on my desktop wallpaper. So first I'm going to need to find some pictures of superheroes, so say I'll type in Batman. slow sorry about that okay go to images okay, sorry about this not got the best internet Okay, here we go. Got them at lost, and now. So, say I want this image of Batman. Now, I'll first screenshot it. Now, if you don't know how to screenshot, I'll tell you right now. You need to hold down Command, Shift, and 4, all at the same time. Now, that will turn, that will turn the cursor into like a photo kind of icon now you can release once you've got the icon up and that will act as a cursor icon now you want to find the edge of the photo and you want to drag across and then get the area of your image and then just release and then it will turn it into a screenshot okay the next what you want to do now um i'll find another image say superman say i want one from Man of Steel. So let's just say I'll take this one. Actually, that's not a very good one, so I'll get a different one now. So say I want this picture of Superman. So now, command shift 4 again to make the cursor into a photo icon. And find the corner and drag. Oh, sorry. Find the corner and drag it across to the whole surface area and release. And so I want Thor. Take this one, command shift 4. drag it across just wait for it to load as you can see down there that gray kind of loading button <sighs> okay there we go and finally so say i want iron man so this one Find the edge, go the hole across. And finally, say I want to see Captain America. Oh, whoops. So I'll take this one. Actually, no, I'll take um. I'll take that one. Command shift four. 
get the image again and wait for it to load again. Come on. Sorry about the guys, it's taking longer than expected. Okay, so I'll do it again. No screw this one. I'll get a different one. I'll try again. Should work now. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. I'll just get this one. Wait, I'll take that one. And there we go. Okay, now what you want to do is when you've got your pictures. You want to boot up PowerPoint. Okay, go to white. Okay, now you want to you want to get the maximum amount of space so you can have your images on for the biggest amount of space. So just take away all stuff that might be preventing the amount of error. Like turn this down, this down, this down. Okay, now just slide this across the side and get to your images. So say put this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so now you want to fit them all in and like size where you want them. Just do that. And so now I'm just gonna shrink these all to a size where I can see all of them at the same time. So I'm on shrink that. Shrink four. Shrink Superman. And for Batman. So now you wanna put them in the order where you want them. No not that time. But okay. So I'm going to put Batman up here, I'll shorten Superman again, Superman over here, I'll have Iron Man down here, actually I'll put this all the way down here, so you want to get them, you want to use all the um, area you have, okay, because, you know, that's, that's going to prove for your, you know, your photo, so, now you want to make sure there's no gaps because that will be quite annoying when your photo comes at last because if you have gaps in your wipe here it won't look very good let's just say so once you've got that um you don't have to use the whole of the um powerpoint if you want but usually but i'm just doing a rough one like this one so so i'm not going to be taking as much time as i did with my current desktop wallpaper so then when you're done just want to actually you know what i'll make this a bit bigger so i'll have that a bit stretched okay so now i'm ready now come on to your format and i want to take a screenshot of the whole the whole um, all of your pictures joined up so then just release like um, that. So then, yep, that's the way around it because so then just go to system preferences, change your desktop wallpaper. Oh, you can readjust your um thing at the bottom just to if you if you don't like that small. So go to desktop screen paper, and then you want to go down to the bottom where it has all your things. So then there you go, you'll get a pretty nice background. Obviously, I didn't take as much time with this, so mine's not my mine might not look very good. But um, also, if you want, you can stretch stretch it across if you want. If you want to have the whole screen, so as I've done over here. 
but anyway, so, well, that's it really. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and if it was, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye guys.